Hey everyone, it's Karen from Mayfly Life. Today I'm making my Tiger Bomb inspired joint uh, pain relief and sore muscle pain relief salve. And here in my bowl, I'm doing an infusion. As you can see, I've got water up in here and I'm doing a, uh, a, a sort of like a, a Bay Marie, but uh, this is, uh, I'm infusing uh, olive oil with uh, the St. John's wort uh, because um, uh, I want to extract all the properties from the St. John's wort uh, powder and so forth. As you can see, it's, it's a nice nice mix here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, olive oil to this so I can infuse the uh, St. John's wort and I'm just pouring it you know this is three tablespoons of St. John's wort and I'm just adding about half a cup of olive oil and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that infuse for a little bit and at least a couple of hours uh, because uh, I want it to uh, really um, uh, release its properties into the oil uh, because you're going to require to do an infusion uh, of two different oils, uh, two different uh, roots actually, uh, or even flowers. Uh, I've got, uh, I'm going to turn this down because I don't want it boiling. I want it just simmering slightly so it'll heat up the oil nice and gentle. Uh, and like I was saying, okay, uh, you're going to need um, to do an infusion uh, in either olive oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, whichever. Uh, I'm choosing uh, uh, I'm choosing olive oil to do this infusion. Uh, I've already got one made up, which is uh, calendula uh, in infusion uh, in olive oil, and this is this is the process. This is the process in which I go, calm down. I want this uh, just to uh, gently boil. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be infusing uh, the St. John's wort for a couple of hours on a very gentle heat uh, because you want to do it slowly. You don't want to burn the uh, or uh, actually fry the crisp out of... Uh, out of the uh, St. John's wort because you want to you don't want a burnt burnt out uh, type uh, of an infusion the whole idea is to just do it slowly so basically that's what uh, I'm doing here and then I'll come back and show you uh, how I put it all together hey everyone I'm back okay so I've done my um, St. John's wort uh, infused uh, olive oil I've also, uh, prior, uh, did a calendula uh, petal, uh, calendula flower petal infusion in sunflower oil. So I'll be adding uh, those two uh, liquid oils, uh, as well as beeswax and coconut oil, uh, along with a specific um, essential oil blend to target uh, inflam inflammation and, and uh, you know and uh, promote healing and so forth uh, that's the type of properties that I'll be introducing with these uh, this five essential oil blend so uh, I'll show you how and give you the recipe and this is what I've been using for the past two and a half years and I'm loving it um, and it actually does help because um, um, my hands, uh, this hand in particular, uh, my middle, my pointer finger, uh, was very stiff this morning, and then I just added a little bit of the of the uh, rub on my uh, the salve on my hand, and I'm more flexible. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight, but it's it's a slow and gentle uh, for minor aches and pains, joint. Uh, pain, uh, sore muscles, and so forth. Uh, and this is kind of like a tiger, a tiger bomb blend, but this is a, a homemade without parabens, without uh, petroleum uh, waxes and, and jellies and so forth. So, okay, so what I've got here is I've got my, uh, my trusty scale with a bowl, and I'm just going to switch it on. And you're going to hear me go between grams, ounces, whatever. Um, 
or uh, like I'm born in the old old school way. Uh, I don't really do grams very well, but I know uh, grams are more accurate than ounces and so forth. But for this uh, this particular demonstration, I'll be going in ounces. And um, what I'm going to first do is oh, I'm adding half an ounce here of uh, beeswax uh, pellets. So this is the uh, St. John's wort infused olive oil, and I'm doing a quarter of a cup of that. And you notice I've got uh, left because uh, I'll be doing other projects. So, you know, I might as well uh, do a, a, a nice size batch. And this is the calendula uh, flower petal uh, oil in sunflower oil, and it's a light oil. So you can do sunflower olive oil or uh, sweet almond oil, it doesn't really matter. And uh, when, you, when you do make this, uh, you can, um, depending on how hard you want it, you can add a few more uh, grams or whatever, or you know, minuscule amounts in ounces of uh, beeswax if you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tablespoon plus one teaspoon of coconut oil. Okay, so I've got a tablespoon here of coconut oil. I'm just going to plop it in there. And, you know, if, if you get some, uh, when you do your infusion, if you get some, uh, you know, little grains of uh, the St. John's Ward or the calendula petals, it does not matter. It's not going to harm the, uh, it's not going to harm the uh, infused oil. So, but, uh, and plus two, if you go a little over the one uh, tablespoon, one teaspoon, uh, Coconut oil, that's fine. It's not going to kill the recipe. It's, this is not precise, you know, measurements uh, like you would in a, like in a lotion formula or, or uh, soap or whatever. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a uh, low simmer in a double boiler and let it, um, let it melt down. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, my coconut oil has completely melted. Beeswax is starting to go down. I decided to add about a quarter of an ounce of shea butter because I want a little bit of softness uh, to my uh, for my skin wise, but I also want it to be uh, a little little harder, more creamy uh, than uh, my usual harder. Uh, so you can add. A quarter of an ounce of the um, of the shea butter, but you don't have to. This is this is a preference that I, I like to have in there. Um, so uh, that's what I did was I added uh, added uh, shea butter, and uh, I'll indicate that in the uh, in the recipe that it's it's an option. Uh, it's just I like uh, I like adding a little bit of extra softness for my skin and uh, a little creamier uh, texture in the bomb. Okay, so now that my uh, oils and butter blend has uh, cooled down a bit, I'm going to be adding my, um, my uh, essential oils. And first and foremost, um, I'm going to start with uh, camphor, which I will be putting in five drops. And same with uh, five drops of peppermint. I will be putting in four drops of eucalyptus. Two drops of clove. Mm, it's already starting to smell good. And three drops of cinnamon. Okay. 
So I'm going to give this a good little mix. Yeah, on my sides of my bowl, it's already starting to... Oh man, that smells so good. Mm-hmm. You can smell the combination and what really comes out is the cinnamon and the camphor. So, now what I've got here is I've just got a little uh, flip top. I'm, I, you can put it in um, in any, any kind of uh, container. You can even do uh, like a tin or whatever, but uh, because this is a larger uh, batch, I'm going to put it in my jar here. Just fill it up as high as possible. And I still have some left over that I can actually use uh, immediately. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this on my counter and let it uh, harden up. And you can see that I've got my bomb in a it's another about two ounces I guess so this this will make quite a large because this is a four ounce jar uh, so it'll make six ounces in total um, so I mean be sure to have the uh, appropriate amount of uh, jars and uh, tins handy you can use like the two ounce uh, three two ounce jars or uh, you know or do what I did get a two ounce and a four ounce and uh, this this one is a four ounce because I didn't have the smaller ones available but yeah this is what you need uh, so if to be careful if you're pregnant uh, because some of the essential oils like cinnamon and, uh, and camphor can have some adverse effects uh, on uh, pregnant or breastfeeding women so you got to be be careful uh, with the uh, whether or not you're going to use it or uh, or the amount used um, but uh, this is what it's what it takes to make uh, my tiger bomb inspired uh, bomb it's a combination of uh, various uh, recipes because I didn't like one or the other uh, but I did like like I said I like the uh, the uh, uh, St. John's wort uh, infused oil uh, because uh, it's such a wonderful herb to use uh, in uh, natural healing. So go out and make your own. Thanks for joining me. Catch you in the next one.